my channel so today I'm going to explain about how to use the Jupyter notebook in order to make the SIR model SIR model stand for Selamat datang ke channel saya Kaji Data Online Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share all our videos We provide a very comprehensive online courses free of charge Nonton semua video kami sehingga akhir Pembelajaran secara percuma uh, Susceptible uh, Infection and Recovery Model So the first of all, we open the Anaconda and after that, the Anaconda are going to open you uh, this uh, Jupyter Notebook interface and then I'm going to use the Python 3.8.0 So, uh, this is my Anaconda version So, let us type the code and then uh, we are going to run the analysis together So, the first of all, um, we begin with the code type here as uh, import import uh, packages so we need to import the scrippy integrate and then we also import numpy okay numpy okay this is wrong import and then we are also going to import the mat uh, plot library pyplot as plt okay this is the first one and then the second one uh, we are going to make the uh, ordinal uh, ode ode means that um, differential equation we're going to make sir underscore model and then we are going to run for y beta Comma. and then we are going to specify our model as i and r is equal to i and then we are going to make the differential equation ds underscore dt uh, beta times by s times by i and then di underscore dt it's equal to uh, beta times by s times by i minus gamma times by i and then dr underscore dt the rate of change for this group gamma times by i and then we are going to specify a return in bracket semicolon ds underscore dt comma di underscore dt comma and then the last one at least is dr underscore dt so this is the second uh, instructions that we need to specify under the jupyter notebook so the next one we are going to set the initial condition so initial condition is very important in sir model when you specify the s0 so in this case uh, I'm going to specify it using the conditions that um, related to our data set here so the initial condition is already set at this level for example okay 0 0.009 is actually a proportion uh, taken from a specific study and then we're going to specify it under here and then our uh, infection IO is infection also being specified under this um, numerical expression and then we can also specify the R and all this data can be um, download or can be copy accordingly if you uh, want it inside the link provided okay so we are going to specify the time vector so the time vector is actually T it's equal to numpy in space this is uh, the condition where we specify the graphical measure so i'm going to use 200 1000 so this make it uh, much more bigger little bit and then we specify for the result okay for the result we are going to use the solution it's equal to script by oh, sorry by dot integrate dot audience 
s i r underscore model and then we specify this one as uh, bracket colon initial condition i o r o and then t a r g s okay and then we specify for the beta and also gamma all right so the next one the last word numpy dot array and then we are going to set solution all right so this is where we are setting up our integrated sir model according to the initial condition so this is the example of the initial condition that already been set using this data so this data is basically how many people is already infected here and then how many people is already being recovered in terms of proportionate uh, values okay so the next one we need to add the last but not least is actually plotting the results this is the most important part of any sir plt dot uh, figure so in this i'm going to uh, specify the fixed size is equal to in bracket uh, 10 6 um, 10 8 also can 10 6 also can all right so the next one is plt dot plot i'm going to plot it according to the t solution for this specific condition uh, graph or double dot comma space by zero and then i'm going to label this one so i'm going to instruct the computer to label this one as s uh, before that in bracket and eh? don't forget about that s in bracket t so this is main uh, susceptible okay uh, same also actually you can just copy all this thing for the next one copy and paste copy and paste but you must change the number one two and three because it is indicate the levels of uh, this uh, item and then this one is correspond to the i and then this one is correspond for the r and then you are going to um, tell the computer to make the plot dot grid so that it can give you some grid to help you um, identify the condition legend also and then uh, plt dot x level we're going to label it as time so usually we specify this time uh, as days and then plt dot y level so as you know the y level in my case is actually a proportion a pro proportions of the data that we get it from a total population and then plt title titles okay don't forget to put the sir model and then plt dot show okay so after this we can run our data but um, i uh, want to give you uh, the idea here is actually not finished because we don't specify our beta and gamma therefore you need to specify what is your beta and then what is your gamma so uh, this follow is actually here okay this is correspond to the beta and then uh, another one is correspond to the gamma this is the average beta and gamma okay if you want to know how to calculate that one i'm i'm going to share the link for this uh, spreadsheet to you and then you can run it by your own so i'm just going to share with you um you have to save your file so in this case i've already saved my file in the sir model name so i'm going to run it so after you run it and then uh, the conditions of the plot are going to be produced something like this so this is the example of the sir model that already been indicated by the system uh, it's showing to you that uh, basically uh, the the infection will start uh, around this uh, value and then the proportions are going to be the key and then the recovered personnel are going to be uh, increased over the time so if you want to change accordingly uh, your uh, beta and gamma and then also your proportion for the initial conditions of the susceptible um, infected and also recovery you can do it uh, 
automatically in this module. So um, that's all for my presentation about SIR model. I hope that this one are going to help you a lot uh, in terms of making a prediction. Uh, so let us discuss and uh, if you think that this model is good or you need more explanation please let me know in the comment below so if you want to have these uh, codes you can just download the link is in the description and then if you want also the google sheet indicate the um, condition of the data that already being specified uh, to the sir model uh, you can download it in the description below also so that's all ladies and gentlemen see you again until the next time don't forget to like, subscribe and share it to your friend and family. Thank you.